Hey guys, I just thought I'd make a video here. Um, I don't want to be seen, I'm making sure I'm not okay. So I got the lights off here on this uh, Christmas Eve, uh, Christmas morning video. I just thought I'd make a video real quick talking about something that's really bothering me. Um, I'm gonna put something on here to uh, put some sounds on this video. Let's see. Um, put some snow sounds or something so this, you can hear something in the background. I don't know if you'll be able to hear <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not <clears throat> on this video, but I'll play it anyway, see if you can hear it, but there you go. And uh but this video I wanted to make concerns guys that I mean, when I have a good thought I just want to talk about it. You know? And this was just a thought that I had and I just wanted to make a video of it. Um but there's guys out there, you know, that they can't get a girlfriend, they can't get a date, they can't have sex, you know, they can't do anything, <laughs> you know, and I'm one of them right now because of many reasons, which I'm not going to go into in this video. But there, and then they'll see some guys and they're thinking, well, he got married and he met somebody, or he, how come I can't? He, he's not much better looking than me. He's not this or that. And that can definitely be true. Could be that he studied some pickup techniques could be you know maybe he approached and you didn't but a lot of times neither one of those things is true and that's what I want to talk about many times they get helped where you didn't get help and I'll give you a perfect instance my cousin and me and him were close growing up we um we would spend the night at each other's house. He was two years older than me. And we would spend the night at each other's house. We'd play video games. We were, you know, back then it was Nintendo and Sega and PlayStation, all that stuff. And we would play video games and spend the night with each other. We'd watch pro wrestling. We both loved that. We loved, the, we, we had such a similar interest. We had such similar interest, me and him did. And he was about the only real friend I had growing up. You know, we would do things together and we would wrestle on the floor together you know we would like I said we would do all kinds of stuff we did a lot of things together for about three or four years and then he just quit hanging around with me um, just never asked me to come spend the night with him anymore and play video games even my aunt because it was my mom's sister she wondered why he didn't Asked me to come over anymore. Uh, you know, you know, why didn't you come over anymore? I miss seeing y'all, and and I just I was nice back then. Nowadays, I would just tell her she has passed away, but uh, um, I would have told her. Nowadays, that was him. <laughs> he just quit asking me to come around, and um, you know. But back then, I was much nicer, and I was just like, oh, you know, we just get older, I guess. And, and he struggled learning to drive just like I did, but he did get his license, I think his senior year in high school. I can't remember. And he started working uh, fast food. And he started working at a Hardee's, and he met a girl that worked there, which I'm sure that's the main reason he went to work, was to meet him a woman. And he met her, and, um, and like I said, it hurt my feelings because he quit hanging out with me. I mean, just didn't have anything to do with me. And it's funny that my sister and we we were um, my mom and my other two aunts, her two sisters, had children the same year, all three of them. Uh, and it was my sister, my other cousin, and then the cousin that I was friends with. They were all three the same age, basically. And my sister and the other cousin we're friends. They still are to this day. I don't know if they do, you know, as much together now. One of them's married and the other one's, you know, busy with other things. But they still keep in touch on and off. And they still talk all these years later. Me and him have never had much of a connection since. Me and my cut none. And I'm going to get into that. And he was basically, he went out with a girl and he did all the beta stuff. If you read about what a beta male is, you know, the beta male provide, he did all of those things with that girl. Bought her anything she wanted, took her anywhere, 
in my opinion, I didn't say it back then, but he was basically a blue pill simp. Sorry, but he was. You know, if I had to be honest, and we were close still back then, even though he quit hanging around with me, which I never forgot. And eventually she dumped him. He was going to marry her. I think he was he was waiting around forever. I don't know if they ever had sex or not. I'm sure he tried. I don't know. You know, he never told me. And boom, she uh, dumped him like a safe, left him for another guy. He was devastated. He didn't kill himself, but he was definitely, you know, I'm pretty sure it went through his head. Um, for several years, he never had a girlfriend. He tried on and off, started working out, never acted like he wanted girls before. And I just, he, he dyed his hair black, you know, because he had kind of blondish hair. And he dyed his hair black. And it was just, you know, desperate attempts to get a woman. I'm sorry. Back then, I wouldn't have called it that, but I will now. He was definitely looks maxing. He was trying to, you know, to, you know all the things you read about now. Well, he never could meet a woman. And then near his 29th, yeah, he, he was 29, yeah. He was near 30 years old. I'd say probably three or four or five months from being 30. He went to church all them years just like I used to go to church, you know. And there was a girl there that was younger than him, and one of the members of the church introduced him to each other brought them together and she asked the girl you know are you attracted to him and she was oh yeah you know she was really attracted to him they met each other like I said I mean I, I didn't hang out with him at all after that he lived he lived with another guy and uh, another guy that I you know I used to run around with him like I said my cousin you know we were I'm, you know, I'm trying to I'm kind of backtracking a little bit but we used to hang out together and I would hang out with him and his friends, and I was kind of a tag along. I'll admit that. You know, I was very unconfident. I wasn't sure of myself. I had no guy. I was small. Um, you know, I was like I said, I was always the shortest guy. I was a little child. I was autistic, which affected me in many ways that I didn't even know. So I had no confidence. So when I followed somebody around, I let them lead. You know, I mean, they were basically the leader. I didn't do anything. And I remember one time we were, and I didn't like his friends most of the time. I liked one or two of them, but they were nerd, they were all nerds, you know. Whether these were all the geeks, the omegas, the these were low betas, low tier normies too. I mean, these were definitely in sales. They were near, <laughs> most of them were at, at best probably near sales, you know. Uh, they they hardly ever had women, uh, and some of them are still most of them are still unmarried, and so would he have been. I don't think he he might have because he had a good he ended up getting good employment but I'll get to that but I hung around with them and they would all goof off at the arcade you know the, I didn't I was terrible at video games so I didn't care about them but I hung out with them because you know how it is you feel like you need friends I mean you know how it is when you're young you you know for us older guys that are watching this video when you're young if you're a loner you feel like boy something's wrong with me you know I need friends you're supposed to have friends you know and so I would hang around with them even though I didn't enjoy it and I remember one time one guy was and yeah he was making a joke they were kidding around like you get out of here man with the you know my cousin and I remember he points at me and he goes take him you know you go and take your little tag along here and I never forgot that I mean I mean yeah they were just goofing around in a lot of ways they were kidding around but that's what they thought of me. I was nice. I was always very accommodating. And I was that way to everybody. Because in some ways I felt like I had to be. But I grew up with a mom that was very friendly. And very accommodating to everybody. And so was my grandmother. You know, who I miss so much. And she was very accommodating. And very kind. And very friendly. You know, so was, and that's what I was around all the time. So that's what I'm going to be like. And I just remember him saying that, and they just pointed at me, you know, and he was like a geeky guy, too, you know, kind of, he, he worked at the arcade, you know, and, and he was like, take your little tag along here and get out of here. And like I said, they were just goofing around, but I, I never forgot that, because that was so disrespectful to me, I, I felt. Maybe they didn't mean nothing by it, but that sure ain't something you would say to somebody, being nice, right? Hey, tag along, <laughs> you know, you know. And... 
I, I think of all those years I hung with this guy, and I felt less than them back then. You know, they're, they're better than me. You know, I always I felt that way my whole life when I was growing up, and it turned out. And I think the reason he didn't hang with me, yeah, part of it, you know, after that we split up, was he was two years older than me. I kind of get it. Of course, I didn't learn to drive. You know, y'all y'all know if you've watched my videos, you know about my history with that. And uh, of course, I drive now, but you know, I didn't for most of my life. And uh, he, uh, that could have been partly why he didn't hang out, because he was just thinking, well, we can't do a whole lot, you know. But I think a lot of it was he thought, I got to get girls and he'll be a hindrance. You know, if he, excuse me just a second, excuse me. Uh, and I think he also, if he had used manosphere terms today, you know, if he had known those terms back then, he would have probably thought, hey, I'm at least kind of, he was no alpha, but... He might have thought, you know, I was an alpha and Shane's kind of that beta omega guy. You know, I think he would have definitely thought that. And, I, um, I, I mean, he, like I said, he never told me that, but I just kind of got that idea, you know. And he would try to get girls, couldn't get them after he broke up with her. Never could get them. Uh, no girlfriends. He <laughs> never had a girlfriend. Uh, he 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 kept asking one to go with him, and and his mom was supposed to try to set them up together. And I was very close to my cousin's mom, by the way. She passed away years ago, and I miss her a great deal. Uh, but you know, she's trying to set him up with uh, this girl, and the girl was, oh, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. I got this, I got that. She, you know, of course, obviously, I know now. She just didn't want anything to do with him, and. Uh, it's just funny. I laugh when I think about this stuff now, you know. And I will never forget that finally, like I said, the woman at, at the church they went to introduced my cousin to his now wife. This woman is big. She's overweight. She worked as a social worker for a while. I think that was what she did back then when they met each other. I've never liked her, ever. Her personality sucks. At least the first woman that dumped him, I at least could kind of talk to her, even though she was kind of weird, too, but she at least had a friendly side, you know? Uh, this one is just, she doesn't, I don't think she likes me at all. They probably look at me since I don't work, you know, you know I'm a big, pathetic piece of crap, you know? I think they all think that, but I don't care what they think. But he introduced her to him, him to her, and I mean, they dated for a while, and within not long, they got married, or he proposed, and then of course they got married. Didn't take them long at all. Uh, they have kids now, too. Took them forever to have them, because she couldn't have them. She lost one child. Uh, oh, and by the way, when they got married, and this is, this is before... Uh, they had children. She quit her job. You know, just quit everything. And don't get me wrong, if I had a wife, I would hope I made enough money that she could be home with the children. I don't want to leave my... I wouldn't want to leave my kids with babysitters, daycare. You know, I don't want to do any of that stuff. And, boy, he ended up getting a better job. He looked out and, you know, went, worked hard, and got him a better job. Of course, that was the motivation, was her. Now, sure, she, she of course she was encouraging him to do that beta bucks you know he was a beta bucks guy and he of course still is and he has no personality anymore he actually came out when we were younger he came out a little bit and was more talkative because me and him were just you know we were very quiet with around most people unconfident you know that kind of stuff and I think he has a part of autism too just as I do but his was not as severe as mine he didn't have the physical you know um, handicaps like I did um, but he's married now and has children, and it frustrates me because just because he works, he gets a you know he gets a family. He would never have had that had number one he not been helped, and number two had he not been more norm normy than me. He's more of a normy, you know. He's I would definitely call him now uh, lower tier normy at best. He was near. He was an incel, definitely. Um, and he was an F.A. He was forever alone. Uh, 
he would have had absolutely no one. And I just think about that, and I think about a lot of you guys. If you're in sales and you're watching this and you're thinking, man, I'm just so pathetic. Everybody's better than me at getting women. It ain't, that ain't always true, man. Some people just had help you didn't help. Your parents might have had help that you didn't have. Maybe they had a friend and they said, hey, man, why don't you meet this girl or why don't you meet this guy? And they ended up meeting each other and falling in love. I had none of those things. No one, I never had many friends. There was never girls around. And... I never had anybody help me. Nobody ever was, hey, Shane, come meet this girl. You know, that never happened. Um, and what was funny, now here's what's funny. I'll give you this last story at the end. Uh, when me and my cousin, this is when we were still kind of hanging out, we would go to our local mall when we were kids. You know, you'd walk around, play video games, and of course you wanted to see girls. That's you know, that was That was the main hangout when we were teenagers. And we were walking through the mall, of course, I'm always tagging along behind. You know, they're all running off and leaving me. But I, oh, I need to hang with them. I regret it. I regret it ever hanging with them. Now that I know they're just beta cooks and you know all kinds of stuff. But I didn't know all that back then. But uh, and I have no use for any of them anymore. They weren't very nice to me most of the time. I think they looked down on me because I was so short and you know. But whatever. I was a manlet to them because uh, I'm five six. But I remember we were walking down through the mall, and all of a sudden, you know, and you have to remember, I was young. I was like, what, 13 years old, <laughs> 14? You know, I'm just a small kid and no personality, no skill with girls, no nothing. And I'm just walking through there, and all of a sudden, this girl runs up, cute little girl, and she goes, just runs up right in front of me, kind of cuts in front of all them, and she goes, do you remember me? You know, with this real cutesy kind of girl voice you know do you remember me and she she was cute you know and I'm like I'm just froze because she just ran up so abruptly you know and I'm sure you know obviously that was her giving me an IOI you know oh she was really into me and I just kind of froze and shook my head like uh 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 you know and of course she she laughed real big and kind of giggled and then she ran off and I remember all my friends said that and they never had anything happen to them like that and I also had another girl during the times I was with them walk up to me and kind of, now, you know, I didn't know it back then, but, you know, hitting on me a little bit. So it turned out, funnily enough, they didn't want to hang around with me because they probably looked at me as a loser, you know, the Omega. The, the, they wouldn't have used those terms, obviously, but that was definitely how they felt. Turned out, I was the winner and they were the loser. You know, it turned out I was better with women than they were, which is how this, the hierarchy is judged, by how good you are with women. Whether we like that or not, that's how it's judged. I was better with women than them. And I used to have a girl that, back when we used to go to the arcade, she would come in every once in a while and talk with me, and they noticed it. And uh, It was never nothing big. I think she might have been hitting on me, but of course I was so stupid back then. You know, I didn't know anything about women. And... I just kind of, you know, we talked, and she would leave. And, of course, they would never talk about it, ooh, 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 you know. And it turned out I was, they were the zeros. I was the winner. You know, I was the hero. They were the zeros. But I didn't know that back then. And yet one of them is married, and I'm not. The other guys in that group, as far as I know, are not married. And I doubt have any girlfriends whatsoever. I think about that a lot. So don't feel too bad, guys, if you're single. You feel like you're a loser and everything. They didn't cold approach. They didn't go up to girls like you. They didn't They didn't have better looks or this or that or, or swagger or, you know, all this. They didn't have any of that. They just got helped. <laughs> you didn't. Nobody helped you. Just like me. Nobody helped me. Nobody helped me pair bond. Nobody did anything. It was all up to me. I never forgot that. Just thought this story might help you. Um, you know, it may not, but I just thought I'd throw it out there and uh, to not feel so bad about yourself. And uh, you know, I think it's important for guys to have some kind of help. You know, 
because just like just like them, you know, I didn't have any help either. So, and and also don't hang around people just because you feel like you need friends. If you don't like them, man, don't hang out with them. You know, I wish I'd known that back then with them. I was young and you know I had no father, I had no guidance, so. I hung out with them and regretted it because they're all they all suck now, pretty much. <laughs> they're all pathetic, even him, because he's a beta cook. You know that's what he is. Uh, she doesn't do nothing. She's not, she's still fat. She's not friendly. She's not much of a housewife, uh, from what I've seen. She's better than some, but you know it's not great. Well, guys, hope y'all enjoyed this video and um, have a good night and Merry Christmas to any of you guys if you're having tough times through the holidays just uh, hang in there I know I don't really like them either but we gotta get through them take care guys have a good one bye bye